Welcome back to Girl Talk. We are at William Thomas Custom Jewelry today and we will be chatting with those great folks later on in the show. But first, we caught up with Curtis Knox with Wine Styles. He always, always brings some great selections. Let's take a look. Why not? Oh. We're talking about craft ciders with Curtis Knox. Um, everyone thinks of wine styles as a place to go for wine. Mm, and right. sometimes I don't always feel like beer, wine. Um, what would you suggest? So we've got great alternatives for mm -hmm. you. So people think of wine, they think of beer, but a thing that I would encourage people to consider is craft ciders, like we were talking about. Uh, they have wonderful fruit flavor to them, mm -hmm. uh, Which I like. and they come mm -hmm. in a you know a really big range of what you can get. Uh, but doesn't have some of the downsides that you would necessarily think of with a wine or a beer sometimes. So I wanted to bring and talk about some of these today. I'm so. excited. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. now, and we're not yeah. just talking like apple cider, we're talking hard ciders. Right. So okay. these are ciders with alcohol in them that have been <laughs> fermented. Uh, so got a little bit of a kick to them. Uh, great for enjoying when it's hot outside, mm -hmm. going down to concerts on the square, chill one of these guys oh, down yeah. and take it with. It's just a wonderful addition. So. Okay. I think some people think about ciders as being sweet. Mm -hmm. And is that true? And they can be, but there's a really huge range. So uh, what I've brought today is a range of sweetness, starting from the one over here, which is from Sweden, which is a very sweet cider, moving over to uh, the pear cider here Ooh, from uh, Door County. Uh, mm. And Island Orchard is the uh, the name of the cider. Look at this cool bottle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah keep that. And I that's totally a, a that. really nice dry apple pear cider that people just absolutely love. And so. it's local. Yay. Yes. Yeah, yes. Gotta love that. <laughs> so I have some of my friends who are gluten intolerant. Yeah. Do you guys have, our side? do all ciders have gluten, I guess? No, not at all. Question. So it's a great alternative oh, okay. to beer uh, because you don't have to worry about gluten because there's no wheat or any uh, yeah. grains or anything like that in them. Uh, it's also a great alternative for people who worry about some of the tannins and, and yep. things you get headaches from wine because you generally aren't working with that either. So p people that struggle with each of those things, ciders are a great alternative. Interesting. So, right. yeah. I'm curious, what are some of your favorites? Yeah. I see you brought some. Are yeah, so I brought, I brought a couple of examples, as I mentioned, the pear cider from mm -hmm. Island Orchard up in Door County. This guy is an amazing one from Mesh and Bone. It's from France, uh, and it says Pamplemousse. What that means is grapefruit. Uh, oh, so sounds it's French fancy. for grape. Yeah, it does. <laughs> uh, but it's an apple cider with grapefruit in it as well, so which is where you're getting this beautiful orange pinkish color to Gorgeous. it. It's a very light cider. It only runs about three percent. Chill that one down. Pour it out. It's nice and bubbly, and it just makes an amazing warmer weather drink. So, that one sounds yeah. great. And again, yeah. a fun bottle. Yeah, as yeah, you can yeah. see that's a selling and, point and, for yeah, me. It's, it's, <laughs> It's a fun cork that comes yeah. out of there. You can save that guy. It's a lot of fun. And so, with the yeah. weather warming up, this sounds like such a great choice. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so. I'm definitely thinking concerts on the square. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, can we try and buy? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, we do tasting events all the time. Mm -hmm. So Thursday nights are wine tasting, Friday nights are beer tastings for us. Usually at least once a month we do a cider tasting as well. And then in our tap line we always have at least one cider on tap uh, there too. Nice. Right now we've got a really nice dry Michigan cider uh, on tap that's just a really great drinking. It's it's like a good Sauvignon Blanc really when you think <laughs> when you taste it. So, so I don't know so, if it's a weird yeah. question. Can you if you can't make one of those mm -hmm. tastings, mm -hmm. can you just stop in and you can, yeah, you can. You can come in. Any of our ciders are there. You can just buy one can or one bottle and drink it on premise or take it home. If it's something you want to drink, we don't have already chilled. We just pop it in the chiller about five minutes. It's ready to go. Nice. So, yeah. And your hours, so if people are so, thinking they yeah, want to buy? Yeah, so 11 to 8, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, 11 to 9, uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, 1 to 5 on Sunday. Awesome. So, yeah. Time to stop after work. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. We have lots of people drop in. They come in, they have a light bite, they have a glass of uh, wine or beer or cider, uh, and then go to the movies. We have a movie mm -hmm. special. People come in, get a oh, dollar, yeah. show us your ticket, get a dollar off oh, uh, really? of your drinks That's before you come in. So, yeah. Genius. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. we got a really beautiful movie theater right next the door. Perfect so. date. Yeah. Yeah, it was a great date night. So, <laughs> yeah. Well, Curtis Knox, owner of Wine yeah. Styles in Sun Prairie. Thank you guys very much. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Right. We have more Girl Talk coming right after this commercial break. 